Hello friends and welcome back to another Pokemon BGC 2020 Battle Series episode. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and today again, like our previous episode, we're going to be diving into some more Series 6 content. So Series 6 isn't actually kicking off officially until the 1st of September, like I mentioned in our previous video. If you are a bit unsure about the rules and when they're starting and things like that, I did cover all of these details so you can check them out on a video. I'll link up in the top right hand corner for you. Go across, check those out and then come back over and watch the battle because I got some rental teams for you guys to get ready, to prepare, to kind of help you get into the new format when it does come around officially on the 1st of September. So for these uh, episodes what I'm going to be doing is playing on the casual ranked ladder hoping to bump into fellow trainers that are also practicing for the new series that is coming to effect on the first before the ranked battle ladder is able and up for us to use uh, today's team we're going to be featuring a G Max colossal team so we've got Sneasel in there we've no longer got Dragapult to use to help us uh, proc the steam engine and weakness policy on colossal but Sneasel and um, base 115 speed Pokemon pretty fast has the ability in a focus so it can't be faked out so it does a lot of the things that Dragapult can do also gets surf as well um, on top of that it gets beat up so you can pair it with something like Cobalion which we've done in this team and then we're featuring another Gastrodon today because it does obviously help a lot with the Colossal and has a way easier time now. We mentioned in the last episode where we were featuring a Gastrodon in that team. Um, how much of an easier time it has without Rillaboom and Venusaur in the format. And then we've got Sylveon and Dusclops that kind of make up the team. So, uh, as I said, we'll play a couple of games with this team now. And then the rental team will be at the end of the episode. So do stick around for that. There will be a poker paste down in the description. And as always, friends, if you do enjoy this sort of content, find it useful, please drop a like on the video. It really does help the video, the channel out in general. It lets me know that you like this sort of content. And if you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell to get notifications for when these videos will be dropping because we'll have a lot of them uh, in the run-up to series 6 starting next Tuesday and uh, on Monday next week the 31st of August we are going to have a bit of a, a, a special episode where I give you guys 14 team pastes uh, of season 6 teams to help you get started in this new format so first opponent is here we've got Von up uh, playing Grimmsnarl. Um, Gorgeist, get it there in the end. Uh, Duraludon, Hitmonlee, uh, Toxicity, and Poltegeist. So it looks like it would be a legal Series 6 team. So um, this looks pretty good for us. Um, okay, well, we can go Sneasel and we can definitely go Colossal here as a lead because I don't really feel like my opponent's got too many things to do to kind of prevent that. Uh, what else do we need in the back? Because we'll probably see Duraludon. I mean, Cobble Lion here is not bad. Uh, Gastrodon's pretty good as well. Does well against Duraludon. The um, Toxicity. Um, the Ghosty types do worry me slightly. Um, Cobble Lion's pretty decent, to be honest. Like, with the Assault Vest as well. I mean, we'd have to be careful for um, the Hitmonlee, but... It's such a frail Pokemon. Um, I don't really feel too threatened by it. So I think, yeah, Cobalion does pretty well. The other option would be Sylveon. Of course, Dusclops there if we suspect Trick Room, which we might see. But if they go the Grim Snarl mode, then I don't know how much uh, of that we'll see. But uh, let's hope we can get this Colossal going. Game 1, that would be incredible. I'm hoping we can. Uh, because that is kind of like the... Uh, the um, the main centerpiece of the team, isn't it? That is what the team is built around. So if we can get that going and do some sweeps of that, and the the the, the sample games that we're going to have for you guys today, that would be that would make me super super happy. I'd imagine we're probably going to see weak armor, poltergeist, uh, Polti guys, well, whatever we're calling it. Um, I've, I've never really battled many of them. It's sad because it's a cool Pokemon. I just never see it that often. Um, okay, so we are going to go for the surf. For sure. Um, what do we go for? Do we go for the, the Hitmonlee? It does threaten our Colossal for sure. Um, the Poltegeist. I have no idea what it's going to try and do. That's what worries me. That's why I, I maybe should attack into that. Um, G Max Volcliff. Um, 
I mean we should be alright. We're not going to go down to something Hitmonlee attacks us with. I just worry in case it's unburdened as well, loses its berry or something. Um, and then we can't really do too much. I think we'll go for the Hitmonlee because it does threaten everything on my side of the field. It also threatens Cobra Lion. And you know, if we get rid of that now, <clears throat> it would make things a lot easier. So uh, we are going to go for that G-Max with the Colossal as always. And of course we saw uh, G-Max Colossal win the recent Players Cup. So still going to be a very strong Pokemon going into Series 6, you know. Um, it hasn't got some of the same support options that it did have, but there's plenty of Pokemon still that can help it set up and uh, do lots of things. <laughs> oh no! Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Choice Scarf. We don't get a weakness policy, uh, but we do get a steam engine. I'm so pleased that wasn't like eject button, although it couldn't have been. Uh, our surf has been disabled, which is not great. We do get the max flare up, so we'll have to see what this Hitmonlee goes for. Um, unfortunately, we're not weakness policy boosted, which is a little bit of a shame. Uh, our opponent tricking the scarf onto us there, so we're going to have like the speediest, speediest colossal in the world. Um, I don't think the Hitmonlee. Uh, will oh goes rock slide okay sneeze all hanging on there so that's ideal um okay I think we just go for a I think we just got beat up well I'm not gonna beat up I think we could switch sneeze out couldn't we do gastrodon and go for the G Max Volcliff into the brew over here. Um, and that should be enough with the residual damage from the, the, the Volcalith to get the hit on Lee this turn, I would assume. So sad we never got a weakness policy. You know that moment of like pure like fear that runs through you because you just don't know what's going on. You just see your opposing Pokemon move first, you're like, We're there. Pull the geist isn't hasn't got prankster ability. But no, nah, it's just had the scarf, so we are literally going to have the fastest Colossal ever with the Scarf attached as well, boosting that speed to like literally over 9,000. Another Rock Slide coming out. Gastrodon going to tank that pretty well. Um, Brit there, but not really too much to be concerned about. The Volcalith, I don't know if it's going to get it. Hopefully it does. I would hope. Nah, no way. Wow. Wow. Just not got the same power output, have we, without the uh, weakness policy really miss it there. So um, a Shadow Ball coming out. But like I say, the rocks should pick both up. Oh, very close. Okay. Um, the idea here is for us to kind of keep Sneasel and Cobalion, um until the very end of this match. Um, so we can, we can kind of go from there. I think what we'll do is just go for an Earth Power and... Um, Well, let's go for a flare into Hitmonlee, I guess. It's just a bit of a waste, really, isn't it? There's not really much else to do in this situation. Hard jump kick. Fix us down. Okay, well, we're going to lose Colossal. Um, it's not the end of the world. They still haven't maxed, so we've got to think about that. I think the big... Oh, Giga Drain. What? Okay. Hold it, guys. Full of surprises here. Full of surprises. The Rinder Berry coming in kind of handy here. Hopefully with Earth Power and then the Rocks, it should be enough to kind of um, pick up the knockout onto it. I would call. Yeah, I mean, yeah. The Rocks are going to take both down. But now we've got to worry about my opponent coming in uh, with their Maxmon. So I think what we're going to probably want to do here is um, bring in Sneasel and then do a hard switch from Gastrodon to Cobbleline and try and beat up and try and get uh, Cobb Lion set up. The very worst, Sneasel's got Fake Out, so we could try and make use of that. But it depends on what my opponent's um, Maxmon's going to be. If it's something like the Duraludon, which we're going to see now, might not end so well for us. Maybe not. We'll have to see. Wendy, the Rank Master. Here we go. Wendy coming out. Um, <clears throat> okay. What's Wendy going to do? I think... I think we have to, um, ah, uh, hmm, okay, well, let's get Cobble Lion in, and let's go for these beat-ups, I think it's the only thing we can really do at this point, I mean, there's plenty of other options we could do, we could recover Gastron, but I feel like if we can start getting a little bit of momentum with, uh, Cobble Lion here, snipe the, um, Duraludon, and then we can kind of concentrate on the, the Gorgeist after that, so, yeah, Duraludon gonna max. <clears throat> We've got a hope here, it goes into Weavile. 
and it it would make sense too in all honesty because i think uh the Gorgeist is pretty easy easily uh, able to to deal with gas around here with its grass type stamps so um it would make sense in my mind to go for weaver uh, sneasel with um with duraladon and then go for a grass type move into Gastrodon, which takes away the threat to Duraladon right now. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But we do get a beat up off, which is good. So let's just see. Hope Cub Lion can get through this turn. Got a horrible feeling we're going to see Trick or Treat or something like that. And then Max Darkness. <clears throat> Power Whip. Perfect. Perfect. You take that like a champ, and I don't think you double into that slot, so I think you go after the sneeze. So, yeah, he's going for the steel spike, which isn't brilliant for us. Um, so, I think this next turn, what we have to probably try and do is go for a bounce um, and then protect Gastrodon. Then we can get the Golgeist, and then we go for a close combat into. Duraladon because I don't think Duraladon is going to be able to pick up the knockout. It's not life orbed into Bubble Lion, especially with the assault vest. Um, you may see a max Wormwind. It's still still not the worst. We are plus three, so I mean we've got a little bit of room to get around with. Uh, well, I mean the other option is we just got Iron Head into Wendy and recover. Or we go Iron Head. Yeah, I mean, we could just Iron... Like, an, uh, we are plus three, right? Yeah, I mean, an Iron Head should get Wendy. So, I'm going to go after Wendy here. And I am going to protect Gastrodon. Because I feel like a Wormwind would come into Gastrodon. And probably, we are in range of that right now. So, it's likely that would pick us up. Um, although, Wendy's likely to go for a Power Whip into Gastrodon anyway. Uh, but we do get the, the Iron Head off. Wendy taking it like a champ. Oh, I'm not impressed. <laughs> and there's the Wormwind. Uh, okay, they're going after the Gastrodon, lowering our attack, which is fine. Um, okay, I mean the next Iron Head's going to get um, the Gold Guys, aka Wendy. Wendy. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Um, hmm. Can, okay, the sun fades. Well, the thing is here, Gastrodon going to be the slowest thing on the field, for sure. Wendy going to go down, well, Wendy probably will go down to an earth power now. So we could potentially just go for a close combat into um, the Raladon, and that would put it in range for another one. Or... Oh, hmm. Just protect it. We have to attack Wendy. We have to. Yeah, I think we go close combat there and then go Earth Power. Earth Power into Wendy. And that should get Wendy. Should. Wendy should go down. I've said Wendy way too much now. I'm like, come on. I'm just going to automatically see this Pokemon and think Wendy. That's what it's called. Um, yeah. Depends on the speed of the goal, guys, but I mean, Gastrodon should underspeed it, yeah. Yeah, okay, that's perfect. So the Trick Room coming up, and we do get the goal, guys. So, it has put in a decent join. Uh, imagine a worm. Oh, Max Lightning, huh. Yeah, kind of don't mind that at all, because it means Gastrodon's going to get that free hit the next turn with the uh, the Earth Power um, into Duraludon, so we should be able to pick up the knockout. After a close combat, if, if this one doesn't, it's plus two. So, yeah, just hanging on there. Um, and Gastrodon going to be able to close this one up. So, we do pick up a win. It's a bit uh, a bit drawn out, but a win is a win. Um, and an interesting Series 6 po uh, team from my opponent as well. So, it's nice to actually jump on the ladder um, and play one. Because in our last episode, we just played, literally, we played two series six uh series five teams so we didn't play any series six teams but at least kicking off today whether or not my opponent's aim was to build a series six team coming into this or this is just uh, a mix of pokemon that they they enjoy using uh, as it is the casual ladder who knows but it is a series six legal team a uh, very good game to von and uh, a nice one for us to kick off with so hopefully we can continue this and uh 
hopefully in the next one we can get the weakness policy going on the uh, on the colossal because that is um, really what it's all about, isn't it? We've got to get that weakness policy procked. Um, you can see when you don't get the the policy going, it's, it's just the damage output is just not enough. And I mean, we're modest max, so it makes a lot of difference, doesn't it? Okay, we got Ruben up next. Looks like, yeah, 100% is a Series 6 team. They've got the Tora Cat there of what would normally probably be an Incineroar that is now banned. Uh, but we've got a team of Porygon Z, uh, Meowstic, um, Tora Cat, Amoongus, Gastrodon, and Braviary. So, um, do we go Colossal here? Yeah. I mean, why not? Why not? <laughs> Really, why not? Because I think the Gastrodon causes us a lot of problems, but again, we do have Colossal. Um, they can just absolutely nuke whatever my opponent throws at us. I think we do. And I think we go with Double Lion in the back. Um, then that, I guess we've got ways then to deal with Amoongus. Um, maybe Sylvian might be the better last call, to be honest. Let's just check what we got on this Sylvian. Um, yeah, you're on Mystic Fire. Okay, we'll go with Sylv. Um, yeah. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. If my opponent doesn't like, if we get rid of the PZ, if they lead the PZ, they may not lead it. Um, but if we can get rid of it early on, that, that will be very, very useful for us. I do worry about the Gastron coming out as a lead for my opponent. It's definitely, it definitely would make sense, wouldn't it? We, if we do see that but it's going to be the Torcat and the PZ so we've got a free surf free weakness policy and free maybe free kill into that PZ now so we'll see uh, I'm not too worried about the Torcat right now um, main target the bullseye is definitely on that PZ so we, we just have to go for it uh, we'll go for the surf we'll max and we'll go for the G max Volklift we'll start the rocks um, and hope with a plus two it gets PZ. PZ is not the most bulkiest of Pokemon, um, you know. So hopefully we are able to uh, to just kind of leave some smack down on it early on, uh, or at least put it in range because it's probably going to target. I'd imagine it targets Sneasel. We're kind of all right with the Sash unless the Torcat fakes out into it, breaks that Sash, and then they follow up with a knockout, which wouldn't be great. But I mean, it's not. Not the end of the world, because then if they double into that slot, it leaves uh, Gigalith completely free um, for the next turn, um, and with very little damage other than the Surf damage from, from Sneasel. Right, turn one, we're going to see Fake Out, Fake Out, but no, 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 we are in a focus, we cannot be faked out, we are immune to this, and now... <laughs> <laughs> the crit does not help. Come on. Sneasel's like the weakest. Weakest. It's weaker than Dragapult on the special side. Come on. We don't need crits ruining our day. But we are going to get that steam engine boost. Uh, we are going to get the weakness policy now. So I'm hoping this will be enough to get. I don't know if it will be. Um, not quite enough. But life orb damage and the rocks will definitely get rid of it. So... Uh, yeah, there's a max strike. It is going to lower our speed, but I mean, at this point, after the uh, the steam engine, we don't really have to worry so much about the, the speed, the one speed drop here. I think we're going to be, I think we're going to be all right, really. Uh, there's the uh, the life orb recoil and the rocks going to be enough to get the PZ, and they'll do a little bit of chip to this Torcat as well, and that's what we like to see. See, PZ, such a pain. Pain. If you ever come across in my streams on a, I always stream Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. If you ever come across to a stream, um, you'll know how much I, uh, I really dislike PZ in Pokemon. Not, not as a Pokemon, but uh, playing it. Um, it's not, it's not something I like playing at all. So uh, when you can deal with it that easy, it's always a nice thing. Okay, so we're going to see the Amoongus coming next. Um, again, I don't really mind this. I think we just go for. Um, Let's just go for Hyper Voice and go for the um, the old Max Flare. I know we're setting this one up for Torcat, but at this point, do we really need to worry too much? I think we just have to Hyper Voice just to make sure in case there's a Sash there. But 
no sash um, and we get the Amoongus. We don't want to have to contend with sleep or anything like that. So uh, getting rid of the Amoongus before it starts disrupting our side of the field is a way better option. We're going to see the Toro Cat just go for a parting shot and we'll be able to have a quick look at what my opponent's last Pokemon is. Maybe it's that Gastrodon, but going to come into a hyper voice from our Sylveon here. So we don't mind that too much. Um, so hyper voice and then oh it's the bravery okay that's ideal um is the hyper voice wow there's more than half i mean is that a citrus berry yeah proper a citrus to get some health back but uh the rocks are going to take it pretty much close to where it was um tori pack kind of dodging the rock damage here but i mean we're in a pretty nice position because we can just target the bird this next turn um and then we can deal with the Torcat. It's not really going to be too much of an issue. So this one quite a queen, clean sleep. Clean sweep for us. Queen on the mind for some reason. Queen sweep. Queen sweep. Maybe that's what we call it. That's maybe the title. It's such a good sweep. It's a queen sweep. Um, we'll go for the hyper voice and then the rocks again just into the bird probably going to see a fake out come up from Torcat here into Sylveon but uh, like I say we've got such a good lead at this point we don't really need to worry too much about what my opponent is going to be doing because uh, Colossal's just in a pretty unstoppable position now I think my opponent really needed the Gastrodon uh, that was the one thing I was worried about slightly I think if they brought Gastrodon and maxed it I think that would have been uh, really problematic for us because we're sitting here with um, the likes of Colossal with Cobra Lion, uh, Sneasel can't really touch it, uh, the Surf kind of procs its um, Storm Drain so it's not the easiest of Pokemon and then we'd be relying on Sylveon to kind of deal with it. I mean we do have Solar Beam and things like that but um, we're not going to be picking up knockouts especially if it's got a Rinder Berry which makes more sense in this format so I think that would have been the more problematic. Thankfully, we didn't see it though, and um, we were able to pick up another win. So that's two wins for us today, and pretty quick one that last one, but um, nice all the same. Very good game to Ruben. So, as I said at the start of the episode, friends, I am going to be uh, giving you a rental team for this one, and uh, this is all preparation in the run up to Series Six, which is starting next Tuesday. 1st of September and I'm doing all I can on the channel here so um, to get you you guys prepared as best as you can and um, so if you are new make sure that um, you do hit that subscribe button um, and also leave a like on the channel if you do enjoy this sort of content of course uh, we'll have to get rid and for you those of you that have uh, been using the, the old rental teams for series 5 they will be going away uh, this week so uh, if they do start disappearing unfortunately they are going away to make room for these new series six teams that I'm going to be putting up right now so here is the rental and again just a reminder series six rules don't start until the 1st of September so you're not going to be able to play these teams on the ranked ladder until then which is next Tuesday but when that does go live you'll have teams ready to play around with and this is definitely going to be a fun one to ladder up with so I hope you have a lot of fun with it friends there is the code um like I say drop a like on the video if you do enjoy this content and appreciate these these teams and want more of them uh in the lead up to series six and um that about wraps it up friends so thank you so much for tuning in have a great rest of your day uh be kind to each other and I'll see you all for the next one so until then take care and bye bye